Meyer, author of Godly Dreams, Your Seat at the Table, and Godly Dreams Ministry. Thank you so much for tuning in to all my brothers and sisters around the world. Thank you for this time that you've given me. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a prophetic dream that the Lord has given me. And this dream was pretty much, I just heard a voice. And the voice said to me was, what world do you belong to? And then when, he, when that voice finished, I turned to a crowd of people and I asked that question in my dream. I was asking like a group of people, what world do you belong to? So pretty much he placed it in my heart. He gave me the message and he wanted me to share this message with you guys. He placed it in my heart that you guys will understand and get this message by me stating it that way. By me saying world, you guys will be able to you know, comprehend and, and actually get it better. Because Jesus, when he was here, he said a lot of, um, he would talk to his disciples in parables because he wanted to make sure that they understood what he was saying and that they got what he was talking about. So today, um, I'm going to share with you a couple Bible verses that the Lord has placed in my heart to share with you. And I'm going to go over a couple questions. And the question I'm going to go over, I'm asking here is, and asking and answering is where is heaven who will be there will we know one another in heaven will there be um a, like degrees on rewards and punishments and will we go to heaven will we go straight to heaven or to hell okay so those are the questions that i'm sharing with you today and i'm going to answer you those questions and i'm going to answer them with bible verses and so I'm going to start off with the first one. Where is heaven? So heaven is a place where the Lord dwells, okay? Where the Lord dwells. It's a spiritual realm where he's at and where um, where his where the angels are. And third, heaven, um, because they say that the first one is, is, is the atmosphere. The second one is the sun, the stars, the moon. The third one is where God lives, okay? So, um, so I'm going to share with you. This, the one I'm talking about is heaven, where God dwells, where God lives. A spiritual place where um, he's, he just dwells there. And um, number seven, I mean number two, the second question. Actually, let me give you the Bible verse for that one. It's 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels okay so this is something that he's saying he's coming from heaven with his mighty angels okay the second one who will be in heaven okay so um this one i'm going to read you genesis 25 8 it says then abraham breath his last breath and died at a good age a good old age an old man and full of years and he was gathered with his people so it's showing you that you know we're gonna know each other in heaven okay um, but the second question that I want to I'm answering is who will be in heaven and um, <clears throat> it's pretty much all of God's people people who who obeyed the gospel and who are these people how do you obey the gospel so okay these are a couple steps that I want to share with you on these people that obey the gospel that are going to be in heaven first of all these are people that heard Okay, because you have to hear the word. You have to hear the gospel. The gospel is the good news. Okay, so you have to hear the gospel. You have to hear the word of God. You have to believe. Number two is you have to believe. Number three is repent. Okay, you have to repent. Turn from your wicked ways. Okay, and repent. And the fourth one, I had them in order here. Okay, the fourth one is confess. We have to confess. Um our faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So we have to confess, we have to share the gospel, we have to let other people know who God is, who, what we believe in. Number five, we have to be baptized. It says, go out and be baptized, you know, share the gospel and be and baptize everyone. Everyone, it's important to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Number six, live faithfully. So we have to live as faithful as possible, okay? So these are the people who are gonna be in heaven. These are people that are obeying the gospel. These are people that are doing what God has called them to do. So these are the people that are going to be in heaven. Okay. So number four. 
Or number three, I should say, will we know one another? That's the one that I said that he's gathering his people. So that's in uh, First Thessalonians also. You can see that in 2.19.20. Let's see if I have that for a verse. It says, for what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus when he comes? It is not you. Indeed, you are our glory and joy. So we're going to be in the Lord's presence rejoicing with him. Number four, will there be a degree? So it's talking about different degrees of, of rewards and punishment. Okay, so if you turn from your ways, if you know God and you turn from him, he's saying, this is what he's saying in 2 Peter 2.20, it says, if they have escaped the corruption of the world by knowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and again entangled in it and are overcome, they are worse off at the end than they were at the beginning. So it's different degrees. He's saying they're going to be worse off. Okay. So if you know God and you turn from your ways and you continue doing what's not right, it's even worse for you. Okay. For in Daniel 12, three, he says, these are people that are living according to God's will. Those who are wise will shine like brightness of the heavens. And those who led many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever praise God so um it's just showing you different words different words for different people okay it depends on what you do the Lord has given us all choices here on earth um the last one number five it says when we die do we go straight to heaven he heaven or hell the, I believe what the Bible teaches is the righteous will go to paradise and it's it's a waiting place the and it's paradise Paradise or a torment, okay? That's that's where e either way you go. But heaven or hell does not does not come until the day of judgment, because this is something that he reveals that we all go to at the same time, you know, at the same. So in Hebrews eleven thirty nine forty reads, these were all commands for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. Since God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. So again, the Lord is giving us a choice. He's giving all of us choices. Okay. And he's telling us with this message that we don't belong in this world. We are from this world, but we don't belong in this world as Christians, as believers in Christ. This is not our home. Okay. And so we're going to meet face to face. We're going to meet our creator. And are you ready? Are you ready to meet your creator? And um, this is a message he wanted me to make it clear to you. Because for those who are waiting patiently and anxious, even the saints are waiting anxiously for this, this great reunion. Um, we're going to go home and we're going to meet our father face to face. But for those who, you know, he's telling you that there's going to be many people. It's, it's your choice. He's given us all a choice. He doesn't force anything on anybody. He's giving you a choice to, to do his will, to do what he's called you to do. And if you do what he's called you to do, there's rewards for that. And if you don't, there's also punishments for that. Okay. So, um, there is different wards and, you know, different punishments for each one, different degrees. So this is a message that the Lord has placed in my heart. There's, I'm going to read really quick, a couple Bible verses that came out printing when I was doing the message. Um, this is 2 Timothy, and then 2 Timothy 2, 2 reads, And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrusted to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Limitations 341, let us lift up our heart and hands to God in heaven. So it's stating where God is. Matthew 25, 34, then the king will say to those on the right, on his right, come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Praise God. Matthew twenty two thirty. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor get, be given in marriage. They will be like angels in heaven. Praise God. So we will know each other, but we will not be married. We will be married to our Heavenly Father. 
Revelation 21, 1, a new heaven and a new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth has passed away, and there was no longer any sea. John 14, 2, my father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have not told you that I am going to there to prepare a place for you? Heaven. So you see, the Lord had went to prepare this awesome place for us, okay? And he is coming. He's coming very soon. I feel it in my heart. We're going to be going home soon. Um, none of us know the time or the hour. That's not for us to know. But to be prepared, continue trusting in him. We're going to a world, okay, how he wanted me to tell you to describe it. We're going to a world, a world of love, peace, joy, happiness, a world where there's no pride, where there's no envy, where there's no greed, where there's no evil, okay? We're a world where we have joy, joy, peace, love. And this is the world we belong to. And this is the world that we need to be shining in this dark world that we live in. We need to show them where are we coming from. If we're not from here, why do we act as we're from here? If we belong to God and we belong in heaven, we need to share God's light like the, like the prayer that he told us to pray. Let our kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. We need to, the same, you know, what God has given us, we can experience that uh, spiritual realm, you know, in prayer and that walk time with him, that, that closeness with him. And we can transform that. We can give that to our brothers and sisters. We can help them experience that same love, that same joy, that same peace that God gives us. You know, we need to be able to show our fruits of who we're from here on earth. You know, if we, we're producing bad fruits, there's no way we're going to get to heaven. So we need to be producing good fruits. And that's a sign that we're in the right direction. That's a sign that we're, we are headed home one day. And that's a sign that that's where we belong. We don't belong here. So we are not to fit in here and do the things of the world, but to show God in this dark world for God to be manifested through us in this dark world. I pray that this message was a blessing to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to ask you, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you're ready to do so now, I ask that you just bow your heads and pray with me. And that's repenting from your sins, giving your life to God, believing that he died on the cross for your sins, and, um, and just giving him total control of your life and letting his will be done in your life. I ask if you're ready to do that, just bow your heads and pray with me. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for everyone, Father God, that's tuning in, hearing the sound of your voice, Father God, not mine, Heavenly Father, Lord. Father God, as they come to you, I ask that you accept their prayer, Father God, as they humble themselves and pray to you. Our Father, we thank you, Lord, for this privilege that you have given us, Father God, to be called your son or your daughter. We ask for forgiveness, Father God. We ask that for you to forgive us for anything bad we said or done or even thought of. We repent from our sins. That means we turn away, Father God. Father God, we want to run away from sin, not run to sin. We ask that you help us, Father God, with any temptation that may come our way, Father God. We ask that you help us rebuke it, Father God. We ask that you help us live a life pleasing and honoring to you. We ask that this woman, Father God, that you come into our heart and make it your home, Heavenly Father, Lord. Help us live our life pleasing and honoring to you to do all that you have called us to do, Father God. Help us hunger and thirst for your word, Father God. Give us the wisdom, the understanding, Father God, that we need to do all that you have called us to do. The boldness, the courage, Father God, to be able to share the gospel to all our brothers and sisters around the world. I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity again. May your will be done in my life, Father God. You take total control, Father God. Help me live my life pleasing and honoring to you. In Yeshua, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name. Amen, amen, amen. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for this time you've given me. I, um, especially for those who tune in every Tuesday and um, just ready, anxiously ready to hear the message that the Lord has placed in my heart. I thank you guys. I love you guys all truly, 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 truly. And I can't wait because um, to the day that we're able to meet in person and praise God and rejoice in heaven, our eternal home forever and ever, where we're going to be able to praise him um, 
and just glory him. It says that, you know, we're going to be there hours and hours praising God. And this is something that we're to truly, truly find joy and pleasure in. But this is something that you should be feeling now as well. So thank you so much. I'd like to leave you with John 832. You should know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Much love. Thank you so much for your love and support. If this ministry is helping you, feel free to support. Hit the support button and on my youtube channel and support i do have a paypal under my name um noreen slash aguire um at yahoo.com that's the email so um I, this ministry does need funds to do all that god has called me to do i'm already writing the second book trying to get the first one still out there so if you haven't picked up a copy of the first one please do so godly dreams your seat at the table all inspired by god thank you again so much for your love and support Till next time, take care and please share this video. God bless.